Hello everybody, I'm Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video. Um, as this one says, this is a Best Soaps of 2017. As you can see, I'm a little scruffy again. Uh, so, like I said in the last video, excuse me, I haven't had a shave yet. Who knows, maybe this will be my thing from now on when I bring a all of you a best of video maybe I'll do it with a couple of days growth anyhow uh, so first off I hope all of you had a wonderful new year I hope all of you were safe I hope all of you had fun and if any of you made a little bit too merry um, that's not on me guys that's on you but uh, you know uh, just go ahead and, and try to stay out of the Sun try and listen to soft soothing tones and hopefully you, you all get over it soon and get better. Anyways, so, of course I'm going to have, well, this is going to be my top seven soaps of 2017. And, of course, some honorable mentions. Uh, and these are soaps that I have used, uh, that I personally own. Some thanks to the kindness of others. And you know who you are. Um, and if the soaps not in this list, like I said about the razors, it's just one I haven't used or don't know. Anyways, so in no particular order, the first soap, hey, well, you know, it's a cream. And this is Chris Morton and Chris Morland. I know you're going to like this one. Tobbs Sandalwood Shaving Cream. smell is absolutely beautiful on this on this cream um, it, it it whips up a nice creamy cushiony slick lather in no time flat uh, the only thing is if you're new at this if you're new at wet shaving or you're thinking about getting into wet shaving and you get creams don't load your brush in the tub. If you do that, you run the risk of introducing water into the cream. And this is a pre and creams are much different than soaps as far as their their um, consistency in the tub. They're usually a lot softer. So if you introduce water into the cream, then you run the risk of just ruining your cream. But I gotta get another smell here. I love this stuff. Oh. Uh, the only sandalwood, which I haven't smelt a lot of sandalwood, so I'll admit that. Uh, but as far as sandalwood scent that I like, um, Parasol sandalwood, eh, it's kind of earthy, so it's alright. But the, the Captain's Choice sandalwood is just a beautiful scent as well, cologne and it needs that cologne. And by the way, this top, the scent is cologne so if you like colognes, scents in your soap, you might like that. Oops. Let me set this over here. The next one is, huh, well, you know, Captain's Choice. This is their North Soap. This has juniper berry in it, and if you like, like, piney scents, this, this, this hits the mark. I really like this soap. I also have the 45th Parallel, which is just I mean, it's one of my favorite soaps, um, the, the 45th Parallel, because of the scent. Um, I smell cherry pie. My girlfriend smells cherry pie with whipped cream. You know, um, soap is subjective. But this is a softer soap. Uh, so, you know, and I found I, I get better results in, in whipping a lather up with this using a, a synthetic. Next is it's in my in my um, old spice uh, shaving mug <laughs> pardon me guys sorry about that but anyways it's fine American blend classic American blend it's a barbershop scent I believe this puck was like for a three point whatever ounce puck was like fourteen dollars, but I mean it's triple milled. I mean, I'm pushing very hard, and I'm barely, barely even putting dent in it. I mean, I'm shaking so hard my hand. I mean, pushing so hard my hands are shaking. But I mean, this triple milled. This will last you a while. And the nice thing about triple milled soaps, if you're not familiar with them, 
you can put them in a, in a, in a mug or a bowl that's not covered um, and they won't lose their scent. It's just, I really love this soap. I also have the El Orange Noir. That was uh, a gift and I really like that scent too. But anyways, fine soaps. Next is, let's see which one. This is one of my favorite soaps. I fell in love with it the very first time I ever used it. Um, I absolutely love this soap. The Artisan makes a wonderful soap, and that is K Shave Works Hump Day. I, um, this is a six ounce tub. Now, from what I understand recently, they scaled back the size of their tubs, you know, downsized a little bit, but and, and they did lower their price. This tub was $17, one second. My boy had to go to the bathroom, so I, I edited that part out for uh, obvious reasons. Anyways, um, like I was saying, K Shave Works, they went ahead, this was $17, and they gave free shipping, and now they have downsized on the size of their pucks. Um, as you can see, I've given a couple of decent sized samples out of it, but um, they've downsized uh, to smaller pucks, I believe, to, from six to four, and they've reduced their prices, but they still, as far as I know, offer free shipping in the USA, and just type in on a search bar if you um, haven't tried their soaps, kshaveworks.com, and it will, or, or go to etsy.com and type in kshaveworks. Their store is, um, they're on Etsy. Mm. This has a bright, really bright, orangey scent. The scent notes, I do know these are bright orange, grapefruit, and I believe those are the top notes. And then your your other notes are pineapple, vanilla, um, cassock, I believe is what they call it. I can't remember if there's any other, I mean, it's just a gorgeous scent. It's one of my favorite scents. I fell in love with this soap the very first time I ever used it. The next one is, let's see what we got here. This is a bay rum, and this is Bear Stir Man Bay Rum. Um, a little clovey, but I mean, this soap, um, bay, their Bear Stir Man soaps, they are excellent for making a, a creamy lather. This is tallow base. I mean, just a nice creamy lather. Um, everything you want in a soap, uh, and it's not bad, the scent, mm, it's my only bay rum, it's not bad, if I like a little bit of a spicy, clovey scent, one second. Everybody, I have somebody here that wants to say Happy New Year to you all, pardon his hair, he's got that big hair syndrome, um, no matter what we do with it, he's got calyx where they just like, poof, just pop up once his hair dries, but anyways, this is my boy Michael. Tell everybody Happy New Year, Bubba. Happy New Year. All right. Love you. Happy New Year. Oh, love you, bud. Love you. Okay, go uh, on. Uh, you, if you get any bigger, I have, if I get any bigger, you, I have to carry you. Yeah. Okay, go on. My boy just said if he gets any bigger, he'll have to carry me. But, yeah. Uh... Bay Rum, Bay Rum by Captain, by Barrister and Man, great soap. Um, it's a little pricey, it's four bucks an ounce, but honestly, it's worth it. The next soap is, and it's a really budget friendly option. And on this, any I look at as far as making the list, not so much as scent, but as far as quality of shave. Um, so pretty much any scent that you get from them, um, you might not like the scent, but the shave you're going to get is just going to be outstanding. Except even, well, kind of with one, but I'll get to that later on. Next one is um, Aleganza by Razor Rock. This, I believe, was like four bucks for this four ounce tub. Um, I don't know, it's 
kind kind of cologne-y. I, I really can't describe the scent other than I like it. I, I, I want to next time I go ahead and go on Razor Rock or when I start getting Artisan aftershaves, this is one I definitely want to get the, the aftershave to. Because, I mean, I like it. And the last one um, in my top list is this, Sterling's Executive Man. Mm, this is Creta Venta scent. I also have their Piacenza, which is uh, um, Aqua de Parma scent. And thanks to somebody else, they, they uh, gave me a puck, a refill puck of the agar, agar, which is just an awesome scent. I absolutely love it. I ended up giving part of that puck to my brother because he really likes the scent as well. But it's just this beautiful scent. The, um, this soap, the, the price is pretty good. It's like 13 something for 5 point whatever ounces. Um, and it's made with, with tallow, lanolin, and shea butter. So, I mean, the post shave on this is just really top notch. Um, it's quite, quite honestly, I consider it one of the best soaps I've ever used as far as the a brand goes. Um, it's just, it's just great. I really, really, really like that. Sterling soaps. So, here we go. Four, five, two. Hang on, guys. Two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I was making sure I showed them all. Anyways, so, on to the honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is uh, not because... It just didn't make it into my top list because this time I only have one. And I've had this this tub since 2000, February of 2015. And it is Katie's Bubbles. This is, I can't remember the, the name of it, but it's kind of, I don't know. It's a pretty neutral scent, more soapy scent. I think it's supposed to be like kind of a, kind of, I don't know. I can't remember what, but maybe a little bit of a barbershoppy scent. Um, eight ounce tub. I mean, I dropped it. It cracked the lid, so I got electrical tape holding it together. As far as I know, Chris Collin doesn't make Katie's bubbles in in the eight ounce tubs anymore. And this is one of their older formulas. I haven't had a chance to try the newer formula. Um, and it just, I mean, it just whips up an amazing lather. Um, so I mean, I thought this formula was was just outstanding. Um, so. You know, they've made a few changes, and, and I want to definitely get some more Katie's Bubbles. But that was Katie's Bubbles, and that was definitely a true honorable mention. One second, guys. Um, had to move something real fast. Anyways, the next soap is... Wild West Soap. Wild West, Wild West soaps, um, Lewis and Clark. It's got a really nice scent, and um, I haven't had a chance to look on their site really yet. This was this was this was a, a get. This was sent to me along with several other soaps I have, and um, or a number of soaps I have. And it's just got a really good scent, but from what I understand, this is the normal size of the tub, two ounces, and it's like, from what I understand, like six something under seven bucks. So I mean, hmm, that's a good price, and it's not a real super firm soap, so, uh, but I mean, it's just really nice soap. Uh, that's why it's in the honorable mentions because it's a really good soap. I really like that. The next one is had to be on honorable mentions because um, it's a soap that's no longer made. Um, the artisan closed up shop back in sometime in, in 2015 or early 2016. And um, but I've never heard a bad thing about his soap. And this was a gift to me because my friend Christian out in out in Hesperia. Just did not like the scent, and I can see why. It's kind of a citronella type scent, but it's Tim Soap's Colombian River. I honestly got to be in the mood for this. It kind of... 
I don't know, kind of has that, I mean, just that citronella, citronella type scent. Um, but the, but the, the shade, the, the, the lather it creates is just outstanding, just top notch all the way. I wish I would have had a chance to get other soaps of his because it's just that good. So if you ever come across Tim Soaps on a buy, sell, and trade page, and you know the price that they're going for is you know matches the the amount that you're willing to spend then then get it it's just a great soap i found with this columbian river what i have to do it's a pretty hard soap too so i mean it's not triple milled hard but it's really 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 hard so um, I found what I do with this is I just kind of leave it with the lid off when I get in the shower and when I get back, uh, you know, it's it's pretty much that that the scent has mellowed out enough to where I can use it. Um, not my favorite scent, but I mean, just an outstanding performing soap. The next one, everybody should have this in their den. It is an absolutely incredible soap, uh, and it definitely, um, it just, it just didn't quite make the top 10, uh, or the top ones, but it definitely had to be in the honorable mentions, um, and it's this one, Parasso Green. This is a eucalyptus and menthol scent, and it's just, it's great, it's great. It When you put it on your face, your face just cools down. The aftershave that goes with it is just wonderful as well. Um, I like the aftershave because the alcohol in it, it, it burns, but then it cools down, so it's a cool experience. But yeah, this, everybody should have at least Parasso Green in their den. I've got Parasso Red as well. I want to get some more Parasso products, but yeah, it's definitely something that everybody should have and it performs quite well too the next honorable mention the only reason why it's not in the in the top list is because um you can't get it here in the states anymore you have to you can still get it but you have to order it from overseas and it is this one wickham this is the only wickham soap i have i won this one on on um several shaves he was having a 250 subscriber giveaway. I ended up getting this along with the bot matching body soap and a sample soap of Magnum. And this is Le Bleu. From what I, you know, the scent is just beautiful. It's one of my favorite soaps. Mm. And as you can see, I've given some samples out of it. But I mean, it's it's a excellent performing soap. I absolutely love this soap. I want to go ahead and make an international order and order some um more of their soaps but it's just hmm. and i guess this is based off a scent by chanel um for men because my girlfriend drives for uber sometimes and she went ahead and she picked up a fella and she was like oh oh what are you wearing and he's like le bleu by chanel and she's like oh that smells amazing and she said that this is pretty dang close. Hmm. Anyways, so that's Wickham's Le Bleu. And if you don't have a problem with making international orders, then find a website there in the UK that carries Wickham's or order straight from Wickham's website. You will not regret it. The next soap, it made it into my honorable mentions now. I only used it a couple of times and... I'm not saying anybody that likes it is wrong. I'm not saying it's a bad soap. But it's not a soap that I would purchase. And it is this one. It's in this little wooden bowl. Puck about that size. It's pretty hard, so it must be triple milled or close to triple milled. And it is Art of Shaving Lime. Now, my friend Christian that gave me this. He gave, um, he had ordered some stuff from Artist Shaving. He's the same Christian that, that um, gave me an a Artist Shaving Pure Badger brush that I ended up um, piffing it to my, uh, to my brother because he only had one brush and that was a Vanderhagen Boar. 
Um, but this is a lime scented soap. And he paid 50 bucks for this with the puck. And the pucks are like 30 bucks for the refill pucks. For the refill pucks. Um, and it comes and he paid 50 because it came in this cool little wooden bowl. And it's a really cool little wooden bowl. However, the problem is... I'm barely picking up any scent. I'm barely picking up any scent. Plus two, to top it all off, when when it's on your face, when you lather up, and, and I be, could be wrong. I've only used this like once or twice. I could be wrong. I might be doing something wrong. I don't know. But it gave it gave me plenty of slickness, you know, cushion, glide, all that. But not only is the scent Barely, it's, and he said, and my friend Christian said that pretty much um, as soon as when he first got it, he was complaining, his, his, you know, whining and moaning about the scent because he was like, I, I paid 50 bucks for this soap and there's hardly any scent. So, I mean, and the residual slickness, once you shave, you get that layer of soap off, um, Pretty much for me, there's really no residual slickness there. So, um, if you're a artist shaving type guy or gal, and you like this soap, I can see why. The shave it gives is absolutely great. But for me, the scent strength and the um, residual slickness issue that I have, which I might 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 figure out how to get residual slickness out of it later on, but the residual slickness um, that I have and the, the quality of the post shave I get from it, for me personally, it just does not. Um, it just does not not make it worth to spend thirty dollars for a refill puck. And it definitely, dang sure, don't make it worth spending 50 bucks just so you can get a really cool little wooden bowl. Um, if you do like artist shaving, then hey, that's you, not me. And I, I respect your, your, your opinion because for you, it's worth it. Just for me, it's not. Anyways, guys, so yeah, that's my top soaps. And honorable mentions of 2017. I'll go ahead and get another video out on brushes and razor blades. Um, I don't have a lot of different razor blades. I don't have a large selection of brushes, but I will go ahead and I will will do do a video on that, um, showing you guys my brushes, which you probably already seen all of them, but yeah, some of you may not, and. Uh, and my blades that I use, um, are, you know, because honestly, I don't got a lot of different blades, but I got a lot of what I, of the several different brands I do have. Anyways, um, or a few brands I do have. Anyways, so yeah, that's um, my video. Uh, once again, I hope y'all had a happy new year, um, and hopefully, hopefully, your 2017, if it was a bit rough, hopefully this year, 2018, will be much better. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy. I'll see you on the next video, and likes, subscriptions, and comments are always welcomed. Um, if you ever need to get in touch with me, my email is in my um, channel description, which is all lowercase, no spaces, just Lance. 5 at 9 at gmail.com. Anyways, y'all take it easy, and I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.